right, thank you for yeah. joining me again. Um, so do you want to just tell us a little about um, what your role is and what kind of things you've done in production before, so what you've worked on? Yes, so I'm, I'm a freelance camera operator nowadays. Um, I'm, I'm currently sort of lecturing at the university as well. So I teach camera work at, at the university and sort of television production. Previously, in the last 20 years, I suppose, I've worked um, both on drama, soap operas um, and documentaries in, in sort of the latter part of my career. Um, so that's my background and it's kind of both location sort of camera work but also uh, studio camera work as well which is is, is slightly different again um, as well as uh, in more recently I've started sort of shooting but a producer director as well on documentaries so so it's changed a little bit over my career. <laughs> so what's the difference between outdoor location shoots and studio if you don't mind me asking? Um, it, it's a little bit of the equipment, um, but it's also about um, the sort of moves, uh, the, the sort of restrictions that you have, both um, because, you, you know, usually inside you have a set. So the sets are um, usually well planned in terms of sort of for not only for people to move around, the actors to move around, but also for the cameras to get into positions. So it's what, you know, they're really well thought out nowadays um, so that there are access to areas that the actors may well want to perform within but it allows us as camera operators to perhaps open the double doors that actually are meant to lead into the garden but actually that you know the camera shot can be there so we can actually get that shot of that person looking out into the garden and um, so you know there's lots of things we call them camera traps so that in um for, the, for instance like in the wolf pack in emmerdale um there's that section on, I don't know how to describe it, opposite the bar that looks like it's sort of inset. Well, that whole section pulls out so we can actually get the cameras, but also parts of it, walls of it um, within the walls open up so we can actually get the cameras in there. So if people are sat having a conversation within that, we can get all angles around the actors and make sure um, that it's covered in every possible way. So, so it's, yes, different in a set. And then on location, you know, we have to work around all sorts of parameters and it's Perhaps more important outside that the director really plans exactly where he wants the actors to be walking so that we can actually um, or performing in you know it could be in the play park or wherever they are you've got to make sure we can get the camera shots and um, so making sure that we've sort of walked through those areas with the director before we actually get the actors on set is really important so that we can ensure we can cover things in the best possible way so it's a very different way of working actually um, and you you get some operators that ne don't necessarily work in one area and um, you know a lot of operators aren't trained on the specific pedestal cameras that you would use in the studio because they're very different to operating a camera just on a tripod and um, these have got gas in them and they they move up and down and left and right they have a big wheel on them um, and they're quite heavy so you have to make sure you don't bump into people with them <laughs> as well <laughs> but also the floor has to be really flat you know so in the studios it's really important um, if we're tracking alongside the actors who are moving from one room into another you've got to make sure the floor is really stable uh, so otherwise you end up with this sort of <laughs> bumpy shot so so yes so it's very different um, in, in both places so you've been on so many shoots so there are some that kind of stand out they're more of one of your favorites or is there a couple favorites that you've had yeah I think I think I look back fondly on um, the Royal because that was probably my first um, foray into uh, television in my my first sort of professional role, if you like. And I was I was really just a trainee at the, in the first series, and then I moved up um, to be sort of the the um, camera assistant, and then I was the second camera operator. So for me, that was quite a big progression, uh, and I spent quite a long time on that series working. I've got a lot of opportunities shooting, so I think the Royal for me was probably quite special. Emmerdale was very special as well. That was a really nice team of people to work with um, and was sort of sort of cemented my career as an operator as well, I think. So so those are probably the two that stand out uh, the most. And then my mo most recent work, which I've just done, which is work on the wild side for Channel 4, which is my first um, directing and producing work. Um, which you know again I suppose it's when you when I get these new challenges that I find those the most interesting pieces of work for me but it is about the team as well I think I think it's about the people you work with I think that really makes that makes it in television production I think yeah it's like a cohesive unit when the team is just right isn't it 
yeah you know, very much so together. it's like a machine at the end it of is the- and it's and it's so enjoyable you know you you can look up who you're working with that day and what scenes you've got you know and you think actually it's going to be a good day <laughs> <laughs> well, so with working with actors um what would you say is a good trait for an actor so is it better for them to have experience on camera um if you've had people who you know egos do come into play sometimes um so are they what kind of things do you see that helps the actors working on camera um i mean i've seen um you know quite new actors um come to programs such as emmerdale for instance and i've seen um even on emmerdale quite experienced actors as well you know we've we've had an awful lot of different people um come through and it and and actually i think the most important thing is definitely not having that ego <laughs> um it's really difficult i think for uh, new actors because because they're they're it's a very strange environment i think when they first come onto a set and it is quite difficult to understand what everybody does and who they are but i think the the best people that get on are the best people that realize it's a team and that we're all trying to achieve the same goal together everybody everybody that's on set from you know right from the trainees the runners right up to if you want to consider it a hierarchy of some sort the actors um and you know the the sort of heads of production um and i think trying to understand that we're all achieving something together is the most important thing and a lot of the better actors that i've worked with do have a good understanding of the shots and that's that's developed through their time on productions you know they've obviously worked in television for a really long time people like jeff hordley you know he's he's done productions for a really long time um and he knows where he needs to stand on camera he he knows that when we've given him a mark that if he oversteps that mark the chances are we're going to have to go again because he's not in focus or he's not framed correctly you know so a, a good understanding of that is really important um and the sooner people can learn those tips and tricks i guess that the better it will be for them but also having that humility you know if you get it wrong you get it wrong um you know nobody's expecting you when um, you're brand new to get everything right in any aspect of television production so so i think having that humility is really important as well and not just you know braving it through type thing um i've worked i mean yeah there are lots of people i work with who are brilliant um I'm trying to think of a few others that I can name. Um, Patsy Kensett, she was she was very good, very professional on set. Anna Blackman, I had the pleasure of working with in, in on the Royal. What a wonderful lady! Um, you know, she she never missed her mark. She always wanted a specific colour, and she and she never missed that mark. And she was very civil. She was you know she was really nice to everyone. Um, and I think that's important. You know that understanding that we've all got roles to play everybody is particularly important uh, and even people like Anna Blackman realize that so you know she had a long uh, standing career but then there are people who I don't um, particularly don't work as a team people like Anna, he's he's always late on set um, he's always uh, it's always about him mm-hmm. you know and that that makes making production quite difficult and it and it you know it upsets the ethos of the team so it is it is important as actors I think that you work and understand that you are part of the mechanics of that team I think that makes sense of course (laughs) again it's like what we were saying before when the crews right you know kind of works the machine you know and the actors work with everyone as well it's so important because at the end of the day you all have the end goal of creating something exactly exactly that's exactly it and and you have to we have to you know it is that teamwork aspect is something that i think some actors seem to think that they're not part of the team it's it's almost like this hierarchy of um i don't have to be part of the team but actually it makes everyone's day a lot better if you are part of the team and and you know we all get on better have a much better day the work gets done quicker you know there's a lot to be said for for that so yeah (laughs) <laughs> so when you're working on camera what some of the dislikes do you or are there any dislikes you have working on camera or is there anything about approaching new technology stuff like that so um you know it's got to be there's always the ups but there's of course sometimes downs isn't there 
Yeah, the uh, the, uh, the downs are probably the things I don't miss so much now that I'm, um, you know, I, I do lecturing <laughs> from my day job, I suppose. The things I don't miss so much about television production are the long hours. It is, you know, it is a long day. Um, the camera team, probably not dissimilar to, um, you know, the, the makeup team that make up the actors are in very early because we're prepping stuff. So the makeup team will be getting the actors ready, costume, etc. Uh, and they're usually the first people on a production set that, you know, costume and makeup are in really early. Camera team maybe after that because we're prepping the gear and getting everything ready. Um, and it, it, you know, it can be a very long day. You can be 12 hours on camera and then either side of that, you know, maybe an hour prep and maybe an hour breaking stuff down. So it's, it is a long day. Um, and I think that's the same for everyone, actors included. So um, that's something I probably don't miss. I don't miss, you know, we have to work out in all weather, you know, all weather conditions. And sometimes, um, like on the Royal, we'd often be shooting it summer when actually it would be very early spring, just coming out of winter. And people would have to look like they're in summer clothes. Um, and it's actually, free, you know, it's freezing. We're all stood there in our massive coats because we're the production team and we can. But the actors, uh, you know, the, even... Um, uh, you know the background artists have to be dressed appropriately and and that's it's a tough call in those in those circumstances and likewise it can be pouring with rain mm -hmm. um but you're st it's still meant to be a summerish day so <laughs> so you might have your brolly but you know you've still got your short sleeve t-shirt on um it's a yeah you know things like that does make production quite hard but but we you know it does work in all weather when I worked on heartbeat um you know we worked out in blizzards of snow <laughs> <laughs> we'd go for our break up at lunchtime and it was always up on this um qu disused quarry just outside of Gothland and um and it would be there'd be a, a bus there and you'd go and get your food and then walk to the bus well the wind up there was incredible to the point where you always had to get your plate with another plate on top otherwise you would lose your breakfast or your lunch straight away because it was just so windy um but we were all there you know that's where everyone was all up in a bus <laughs> so you know it's not um it's perhaps not as glamorous as people think it is <laughs> and that's probably something I probably didn't realise before I went into telly. I thought I had my glamour, glamour head on that it was all, you know, Winnie Bagos and all that kind of stuff. And it, and it isn't, you know, occasionally you might get your own caravan, but that's about as glamorous as it gets. <laughs> so what, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I was going to say about technology. Um, I mean, technology has changed massively over the time that I've been in it, uh, in television. And probably the biggest change is, um, in terms of actors has been sort of high definition and then 4k and then 8k um, television and, and the reason that that's it's sort of fundamental to sort of actors is um, it means that every detail can be now seen by the audience. In the old days at 720p you, it was very blurry. <laughs> now um, in terms of high definition makeup artists and costume artists have to mas massively sort of change their training um, because everything can be seen so it's so it's it's sort of developed a very different kind um, of production skill we have to be um, as camera as camera operators we have to be pin sharp because it's if it's even slightly out of focus and that has a, a detrimental effect on the actors because they have to hit their marks then because we have to set up that focus um, accordingly so you know, it, it does make things take a little bit longer, I think. Um, but obviously for an audience, things look amazing. You know, they can see all those details. So I think in terms of technology, it's great, but it has its repercussions on production, certainly in terms of time, I think. Um, yeah, tricky. Well, what was one of the most things that you liked about working on cameras then? Um, I enjoyed the camaraderie ship. I really enjoy um, going to work, knowing that I'm going to have a really interesting day. No day is ever the same. Uh, you know, uh, you're always shooting something completely different. Uh, you're in a di different place with different people. Um, and, you, you know, quite often on productions, you have similar teams that you're working with all the time. And I just love that. I loved um, working in my team. Um, having a having a big joke you know we used to have lots of jokes on set lots of in jokes lots of 
things that would go into the pub later on and that you know that's really important on productions I think and and having that sort of work time as well as downtime um, and getting to know people and how they work um, you know both actors and uh, you know directors camera operators I think is really important for people so I so I think it's the teamwork that I love the most about it uh, and probably what I miss the most um, because you make a lot of friends um, you know working on productions like that definitely and just last but not least but if you were to give any advice to people starting out in this industry is there something that almost like you would have wanted to know yourself whether it's an actor or someone going into crew pre-production anything like that um I think the most important thing is probably to be yourself I think um a lot of this industry people can um, project a persona of themselves and it and it's, it's soon apparent that that's not themselves if that makes sense so I think it's really important that you're honest with yourself with, about who you are and where you want to go and um, it's really important to ask questions when you, you're, you're not sure um, it's not stupid you know no question is stupid um, I think it's better that you uh, have that humility to be able to ask those questions rather than um, you know braving it through and making mistakes I think it's important um, to sort of ask questions um, and I think it's really important to be a team player I think no matter where you go in television production you, you always have to be a team player whether you're an actor or crew um, or production team you know it's really important that you know it's a team activity that you're taking part in, in something that a team only a team can achieve um, so it's really important that you're a member of that team and take on board your part within it you, you know you're within the mechanics of that wheel that's in motion if you like um, so being polite cooperative you know all those all those sort of teamwork skills um, are important and I guess for actors it's probably about learning your craft so things like hitting your marks and perhaps gaining more understanding about um, shots and um, what it you know having a look at things talking to people and, and asking other you know the sound team about why it's important that you do that is, is really important to their learning and development I think so having an appreciation of everyone else's job role on that production will give you massive amounts of skills and and, and learning ability uh, for yourself so I think I think that's all really important and then most of all it's about having fun you know there won't be a film set a tv set that you ever go on where there isn't um, an element of fun um you know it's it's an it's the entertainment industry after all so um so I think it's about having uh, that sense of humor as well Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. That's all right. Thank you. <laughs>